to everybody and uh, welcome to this new clinical uh, webinar on the Nirvana system. I'm very glad to have a speaker today uh, for this webinar, Dr. Clementina Antenore um, from the Santa Lucia Foundation in Rome, one of the most important rehabilitation center in Italy. And uh, Dr. Antenore is a, a psychotherapist with a lot of experience in the neuropsychology and uh, she's going to explain us uh, how they are inserting the Nirvana system in their clinical practice and in particular uh, she will uh, show us uh, which is the um, uh, integrated rehabilitation protocol using Nirvana in the treatment of children with uh, cerebral palsy. So thanks very much Dr. Antenre for uh, your time uh, and please you can start uh, your presentation. Well, thank you very much, Federica, for your uh, prompt uh, introduction, and uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Santa Lucia Foundation. The Santa Lucia Foundation has been, since August 7, 1992, one of the 47 scientific institutes for research in healthcare. It's a nationally renowned and highly specialized for neuromotor rehabilitation and neuroscience research. And we have a, um, a wonderful image of our hospital. The Santa Lucia Foundation is a 325-bed rehabilitation hospital. Uh, 293 beds are for general admission, 32 for a day hospital, and 17 for pri private patients. The hospital provides neurorehabilitation therapies designed to treat patients with stroke outcomes, severe brain injuries caused by trauma with possible periods of coma, spinal cord injury, as well as, as, well as subjects uh, suffering from neurodegenerative uh, diseases alongside Physiokinetic and hydrokinetic therapy re rehabilitation programs include occupational and language therapy, orthoptics, phoniatrics, and respiratory rehabilitation, treatment of dysphagia and con cognitive def def uh, deficits. Neurorehabilitation treatments use modern technologies such as brain computer interfaces and exoskeletons. Diagnosis and treatment of neuropsychological disorders are also provided for, along with a number of laboratories, including clinical uh, diagnostic neurophysiopathology, diagnostic imaging, and molecular genetics. And the outpatient clinics complete the offer of health services, covering, in addition to the specialized neurology, the main medical specialties. So the primary healthcare units uh, covered by the national health system in Italy include day hospital and regular admission, outpatient rehabilitation, and our outpatient clinics. Uh, we're going to concentrate, uh, spend a few words on the outpatient rehabilitation um, in it, because it's a dedicated structure that is available to both adults and children for extensive rehabilitation. And programs are aimed at recovering physical and cognitive de deficits. Extensive outpatient rehabilitation is a complex, is a complex care service, speci specifically designed for individuals with certified chronic disability from birth or resulting in a traumatic injury. In the latter case, extensive rehabilitation follows the post-acute care program applied immediately after injury. Our department provides an average of 310 daily treatments. 80% of patients are of pediatric age. Programs include neuromotor, phoniatric, respiratory, and speech and language therapy with an augmentative alternative uh, communication approach. Integrated rehabilitation plans may include hydrokinetic therapy, psychomotor therapy, and pediatric cogn cognitive therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy and psychological support and counseling to the families are also provided. 
the number of weekly sessions of medical interventions, psychological support to the family and school visits is based on the child's needs and are performed by a team of specialists, which include pediatric psychiatrists, physiatrists, physiotherapists, speech and language therapists, psychologists, and biomedical engineers. Preferential admission is given to children below the age of 18 months with complex disorders, including cerebral palsy, severe prematurity, severe feeding and communication impairments, cognitive deficits, rare genetic and chromosomal syndromes like Downs, Prader-Willi, Williams, Prieto Schott, Smith, Magenis, just to mention a few. We are currently providing service to 250 children between the age of six months and 12 years. 52% of these patients are affected by rare genetic disorders, 41 are preterm infants and children with cerebral palsy. A small percentage have deformities, mainly upper limb agenesis and other disorders. Last year, precisely on the 9th of June, the Nirvana floor and wall virtual reality system was set up in our department. In recent years, we used and studied non-immersive virtual reality using commercial video games and found positive effects on our patients. And in 2015, we also published a study uh, on the uh, European Journal of Physical Rehabilitation Medical um, Journal. And so we felt the need to set up and use Nirvana and, and, and set up a new protocol, uh, rehabilitation protocol that can integrate virtual reality in children with cerebral palsy. And cerebral palsy is a continuous but non-progressive motion posture, motor function disorder resulting from a lesion in the developing fetal or infant brain, affecting approximately two per 1,000 live births. It is the most common cause of physical disability in the early childhood and a serious disorder that also affects the family and the child's education and social life. The motor disorders of cerebral palsy are often accompanied by disturbances of sensation, perception, cognition, communication, and behavior by epilepsy and secondary muscle skeletal problems. One of the primary issues in CP children is postural dysfunction. Maintaining a stable posture during daily living activity requires an effort due to the necessary interactions between the sensory and the muscle, and the muscle skeletal systems. Such interactions are unfortunately impaired in CP children, and which explains um, the, the altered uh, postural control. A basic functional task such as reaching challenges postural stability because it changes the alignment of the, bob, of the body segments and projects the direction of the center of gravity forward. In order to achieve effective reaching, precise postural adjustments are necessary to stabilize the body and support the correct positioning of the arm in space. Virtual reality is a technology that provides a sense of presence in a real environment with the help of three-dimensional pictures and animations simulated by a computer and allowing the creation of specific forms of communication and learning. The user is able to interact with the objects in that environment and can perceive himself as physically present through sensation and emotions. In other words, virtual reality can be described as an improved form of human computer interaction that allows the user to be part, to be part of and interact with computer generated environment on a real time basis.
Within the pediatric uh, population, re virtual reality-based rehabilitation programs can offer many advantages. Um, you can adapt game settings to the needs of the single child. You can gradually increase the duration and level of difficulty of the exercises. Visual and or auditory feedback can be promptly provided. It is shown to increase mo motivation to perform, to perform the, the, the various exercises and it, it promotes neuroplasticity. If we look at the results of studies using virtual reality in motor uh, rehabilitation, they seem to indicate good improvements in reaching ab ability and balance in coordination and in postural control. And this leads us to our study, which received a full approval by the ethical committee and that is aimed to assess whether compared to conventional treatment, training with the Nirvana virtual reality system can improve performance by enhancing both participation and motivation and thus promoting effects on reaching and trunk control in children affected by cerebral palsy. We included in our study children from 5 to 12 years of age with a gross motor function score ranging from 1 to 3 and that are classified as unilateral spastic or bilateral spastic cerebral palsy according to the surveillance of cerebral palsy in Europe study group. Excluded from the study are children below five and above 12 years of age with pharmacoresistant and photosensitive epilepsy and that have an IQ below 50. So uh, we were able to recruit 30, uh, 32 children that were randomly divided into two groups. In group A, uh, the children received uh, therapy mediated uh, by virtual reality technology for a total of 16 45 minute sessions twice a week, while group B for, performs conventional treatment over the same period of time. Scales will be administered at the beginning of the child and at the end of the 16 sessions and uh, after a follow-up uh, and during a follow-up after a month. And the scales are able hand and quest uh, that enable us to assess upper limb functionality and parachute reaction, while the trunk control measurement scale can give us an assessment of trunk control. For data collection, a sensory uh, accelerator uh, will, it will be placed on the child's trunk while he's performing the timed up and go test, during which the child will be asked to stand up from a sitting position on a chair, to walk for three meters, and then to turn around and go back to the original sitting position. In addition to the um, this um, the sensory accelerator, we will be using uh, a user satisfaction questionnaire administered both to the children and the therapist at the beginning and at the end of the 16 sessions in order to assess motivation and participation to the treatment. The questions will be addressing the perceived level of difficulty of the task and if it was a pleasant or not uh, experience or not. We are still at the very early stages of data collection as uh, the study started only in January and it will go on for 16 sessions and a follow-up phase after a month. We hope to be able to gather interesting results that could help identify the type of disorder that could best benefit from this type of treatment approach. And we hope to give a pleasant and enjoyable experience to both the children and the therapists. Thank you very much for your attention.
Okay, so thank you very much, uh, Dr. Antenere, for your great presentation. And uh, we look forward to the results of this uh, study with the Nirvana system. So thank you to all the participants uh, for your time and uh, see you on the next webinar. Thank you. Bye-bye.